Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, long time no see. I haven't filmed a video in, oh god, it's been like a week. I am like literally so sorry. It's just been like, I've just been in this like weird mood where every time I film I feel like I'm being awkward or weird. <laughs> but anyway, like besides my weird like rant, um, I'm just going to be doing a collective haul today. So, I've went to Bath & Body Works two times in the past... Oh god, like a week, so... So, we're just going to be going through all of the candles that I got. So, basically, last weekend, candles were thirteen fifty. So, I'm going to show you the candles that I got. So, um, I took back three candles as exchanges. So, I brought back Merry Mistletoe, Fresh Sparkling Snow, and Hun Holly Berry Balsam. So, brought those back, and ex in exchange, I got... Tomato Vine, first off, which it conveniently matches me. Um, we have Tomato Vine right here. So, this says, Sun Kissed Tomato Leaves, Fresh Spring Greens, and Hint of Lemon. So, when you smell this, you get like, oh gosh, it's so nice. It's like a, kind of a, very spicy, like, peppery, um, lemon scent. If you've never smelled a Tomato Vine, that's exactly what this smells like. It's the most realistic scent I've honestly probably ever smelled. But, yeah, it's just, like, a very peppery, um, lemon scent. Pretty cool. Like, you definitely get that lemon note. So, next I got Wild Sage and Aloe. So, there it is. There's something on the jar. But, yeah. I have the little mason jar, mason jar size of this as well. So, when you smell this, you get, like, a very natural, like, lush, like, um, lush the company, um, you get a citrus note in there, um, I guess you get the sage, and you definitely get the aloe, like, I've smelled, like, aloe products before, like, aloe vera, and that's pretty much, like, dead on what this smells like, so, yeah, I mean, very hard to explain, because not a lot of people have smelled that aloe scent, but, yeah, so, those were two out of three exchanges, so, the last one I got, Lily of the Valley, Guys, this candle is awesome. Like, it's a definitely a contender for my, for my top, like, 10, maybe? It's, it's high up there, so. I was sad because Sugared Peony Petals didn't come back this year, but honestly, this is a good contender for it. So, notes are Lily of the Valley, Creamy Musk, and Garden Lilies. Um, oh gosh, it's like a nice, like, fresh-cut flower scent with, like, a hint of, like, a perfume scent or something, like like a nondescript perfume, so I don't know, that one's so good, and who can resist that beautiful, like, light purple jar? So those were, like, free because of dead exchanges, and then I did, I bought two more candles on the, while well, they were on sale for thirteen fifty. So I was talking to one of the sales associates, and I was mentioning about those new, um, like, ribbed glass jar candles, and they had Sweet Peach Nectarine, which is a direct repackage of Peach Bellini, and they also had cotton eucalyptus or something, which, I mean, doesn't interest me. So, yeah, I got vanilla bean right here in this beautiful, like, opaque white jar. So, it kind of bugs me because the wax is off-white, but blah. So, my parents are, like, having a party in there, literally. So, the notes are Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, and fresh steamed milk. So, like, a straight-up vanilla scent, but you get, like, something else. Like, you get that straight-up vanilla bean mixed with, like, oh, God, I'm gonna say, uh, like, ice cream or something, like, cool or chilling about it. Like, I don't know, milkshake, maybe? I don't know, it's so, so cool and, like, nice. So, next up, um, like I said, I mentioned to, probably should have talked about this candle first, but I was talking to the SA, SA, sales associate about, um, coconut sandalwood in that new collection, and she said they only got those, um, sweet peach and nectarine and cotton eucalyptus in, um, out of that collection so far, but she said that someone earlier that day had returned a coconut sandalwood, so, didn't come with a lid, it had that little paper thing, but I thought that was so cool, so, my dog's barking because apparently someone's hair, god, I don't know, um, so coconut sandalwood is like, um, it says fill your home, because this was back when they did those descriptions, fill your home with a tropical blend of creamy island coconut, luxurious sandalwood, and a hint of of jasmine so oh when you smell this you get like a very spicy like manly um coconut scent so like i don't know 
it's kind of harder to explain it's very like aquatic like it has that like watery um aspect to it like i don't know say turquoise waters has or something like that i don't know it's just so cool but it's a very like complex scent so that was 1350 it brought up to 27 which is stupid because they were doing 10 off 30 last weekend and i needed to get up to 30 so i just threw in a praline pecan wax melt but this is weird so i didn't smell it in store because i mean like it's praline pecan you know what it smells like but this is more of the pumpkin pecan waffle scent as opposed to the praline pecan so this has that like overpowering like maple syrup note but praline pecan the candle normally takes that syrupy note out of um pumpkin pecan waffles like that's what differentiates the two so, I don't know, that's kind of different, but I just threw that in because I needed to get up to 30, and also, I redeemed my free travel size coupon, just Endless Weekend Lotion. Totally random, no one cares about it. <laughs> it's just like, you feel like you're, like, wasting money if you don't get that free item, because, you know. And then, my mom let me get this um, marble pedestal, so, like, it looks really cool with the vanilla bean candle. But, so, yeah, that's what it looks like, um... 1550 sticker price took 20% off. It was like 12 or 13 or something. So did that and that is all that I got last weekend. So set that aside. This weekend. Okay, so this weekend Tutti Dolce is six dollars. I feel like this looks weird because it's like I'm like popping out. But um so Tutti Dolce is six dollars. Sorry I'm going so fast, but my laptop like has a hard time uploading long videos. <laughs> so Sweet Lemon Buttercup is my absolute fave. Oh my god, I got three versions of it. So, first off, I got the Fine Fragrances because those are my favorite. Ooh, that reflection right there. Um, let's spray it. Okay, so, you get like, like, you get like the lemon zest scent first off, and then sort of that vanilla cake scent comes out more a little bit so um that's what I get from this but I don't know it's kind of it's not it's it's more of that straight up lemon scent doesn't have as much like of that cake like glaze icing scent as I would want yeah so I mean I don't know basically a just a lemon scent honestly I don't know it, it's not it's very different from limoncello I don't know I mean I'm not good at like differentiating a bunch of scents but um did I say that right? Differ differentiating? I don't know, but, um, I don't know. Maybe, let me apply. So, I got the Fine Fragrance Mist, and then I got the body cream, which I hate buying. Like, I don't know why I need to get this body cream, because I would much rather get a lotion, but they don't make lotions in Tutti Dolce, so, oh, depressing. But I got the cream, because I had a coupon for $5 cream, I think, so... Let's apply some, and maybe this will give me a better, um, reading of what the scent is like, so. Hmm. I'm trying to, like, think of how I can describe this. So you get that lemon, like, peel, um, sort of dry lemon scent, first off. And then you get, like, a, I don't know, like a sugared sugared aspect to it like it's not so much like a cakey or vanilla scent as it's just sugared lemons so that's how I'm describing that and lastly out of that scent I picked up the Karimi body wash so I tried this out in the store on my hands um and it was pretty cool it was like a lotion but like it left that moisture like after so I'm gonna I think I tried it in golden honey praline but so I tried the creamy body wash and I picked one up. Um, it feels like more than eight ounces. Like I feel like I'm gonna get more use out of it than a regular shower gel. So that's all I got from Sweet Lemon Buttercup. I love that scent. And next, sort of random, this is the only version of this scent that I got in the line. So White Mocha Kiss right here. I got this in the shower gel because I had a travel size beach nights. Um, if you hadn't heard before, I talk about it. This white mocha kiss. Mm, sorry. Um, we went to Texas Roadhouse and I like gorged myself. Or not Texas Roadhouse. What's it called? Outback Steakhouse. So, Tutti Dolce white mocha kiss. Um, repackage directly. Um, I'll unscrew the cap. Repackage. 
of Beach Night Summer Marshmallow, and I always wish that I would have got a full size um, shower gel because I had the travel size shower gel, and then I wanted a full size, but I was too late to get it. So that happened, and yeah, it's just I think the shower gel is the best version of it, and it's like the most nice because I don't know something about the shower gel is just amazing to me. So pick that up. Um, this is the only like kind like version of this scent that I got that I don't know maybe I'll get more I really wish I would could have got some beach nights lotion instead of the cream because the cream just goes bad and it's weird so <laughs> that's all I got of a white mocha kiss and then my parents are like having a ball in there watching the UK game <laughs> anyway um golden honey praline is next um so I got the shower gel and the fine fragrance mist so I really like this scent, like, it's weird because it's so sort of vague and basic, but the only scent that I have, or version that I have to test out, really, well, I guess I can smell the cap of the shower gel first, so we'll do that now. Um, this isn't, like, super strong. I'm, like, putting my nose, like, on the, the little opening. Okay, I'm not- I'm literally getting nothing from this, so I'm going to get, like, a pillow, maybe? Can we do that? To spray this on, and so I can describe it to you. I have this beautiful pillow here covered in, like, hair. So, <laughs> we're gonna test this out. So. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Hmm, I get like a perfumey sort of cakey scent, if that makes any sense at all. It's really cool, like really nice. Um, I don't know why the shower gel is kind of weird and weak, but... I'm really digging it. Like, you get like a brown sugar sort of note. I mean, I don't know, maybe I like it more than the lemon now that I get it home and smell it, but... um. Yeah, very interesting, like a brown sugar, um, oh no, I want to say almost almond, more realistic almond than almond vanilla ever was. Yeah, something's really cool about it, like brown sugar, really nice, so, um, that's all of Tutti Dolce I got, um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six things. It was all under $35, including these pocket bags, so, I got pink petals which is known as love and I also got pretty pink peony so pretty pink peony is kind of weird it's like a fruity scent even though it's called pretty pink peony but this is more realistic floral so um it's like when I smell this I get like a oh gosh like a what's it called plumeria scent or like gardenia maybe somewhere along there and when I smell pretty pink peony. By the way, does it bug anyone else, one else when you open up pocket bags and they like explode? It happens so often. Like, you'll just like flip open the lid and be like, <laughs> like explosion. I can't. But, yeah, I'm getting like a raspberry scent from this. Like, take raspberry pink peony and rip the peony out, which is weird because this is called pretty pink peony. I mean, the packaging is on point and everything. It just lacks any floral to it, which this has in. This is, like, not, like, when you would look at these two, even though this is, the name suggests floral, I mean, the name is floral, this isn't floral, but this is, <laughs> it's just, like, weird, but, um, you never know with their pocket bags since they switch it up so much, um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this haul, um, I pretty much got a lot of stuff talked about in here, but, <laughs> yeah, um, if you have any video suggestions, let me know. Um, I'm thinking about filming a new candle collection since I've got so many since my last one. My collection's kind of, like, doubled, but, um, like, the last collection I did was when I had only one of the these shelves, and then I did another collection update type video, but I didn't go through every scent. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye!